Welcome to learning video. This is second follow up of Mr. PJ's case. He visited me again after two weeks on 8-1-2011 with feverish feeling, backache, nausea and heaviness of abdomen. He was still resting at home. However, he said couple of days back he had outside food and thinking that this might be the cause of present problem, I gave him Napsomika 10M three times a day for two days. He called me next day stating that his appetite has reduced and he feels nausea and there is indescript pain in abdomen and he could not sleep at night because of pain. I asked him to take Lycopodium 10M, his chronic remedy and asked him to do investigation and the report on 11-1-2011 was serum lipase was increased up to 3880, serum amylase was increased up to 1452 and triglycerides was also increased to 238. Total cholesterol uh, was 178, it was normal. Total bilirubin was raised up to 7.9, direct bilirubin, direct bilirubin was also increased to 5.5 and indirect bilirubin was also 2.40. HGPT was increased to 210 and HGOT was borderline high, it was 49.2. The case has been taken different turn now. The pancreatitis is evident along with jaundice in a known case of cholelithiasis. The symptoms noted were he had chilliness in the morning and fever shoot up to 102 degree Fahrenheit but came down gradually in the afternoon. He was feeling thirsty and retrosternal burning and eructation without much relief. Urine was yellow. By evening, his fever was normal and he was feeling slightly better under Lycopodium 10M. Therefore, I gave Lycopodium 50M QDS for two days. After two days, he was feeling comfortable. I prescribed Chelidonium 200 as it is a close analogue of Lycopodium and I was rather hesitant to give high potency of Lycopodium repeatedly. We will see the further follow-up of case tomorrow. Thank you.